along the top here you've got your net quantity and then you've got your pre-chamber pressure and your main chamber pressure typically in wet silage you'd either run uh, a three or four and on your pre-chamber or six or seven on your main chamber to actually change them if you tap that and then if you go up or down confirm with the with the, with the tick and then you've actually changed the setting the net setting typically depending on the quality of your net you'd run somewhere between two to two and a half revolutions of net press the lock button press the spanner key that then brings up the the three graphics there if you press operation that takes you straight into the screen where we can adjust the uh, the layers of uh, film the R and the uh, wrapper RPM typically four maybe six layers to actually change that if you press the icon there press six and then it changes it, and then it that's six layers so that will automatically go to 12 revolutions there the RPM typically you'd run around 40 40 RPM but it really does depend on the quality of your film on a colder day you can maybe take that up to 42 43 RPM uh, but typically you're going to run around 40 RPM press the icon and if you want to go to 13 you're then there yeah that's really really down to the operator and the customer we have film sensors on both rolls so we can actually simulate what would actually come onto the screen if you got a broken film so we can start the wrapping cycle This is the screen that would appear when you actually break a film or run out of film. You can either select one and carry on to run out your, your second roll of film, so you're only getting out the tractor cab ones, or you can then jump out of the cab to actually reconnect the film if necessary. But before you leave the cab, always make sure you actually lock the control box. Film brake sensors there turned on, but if for whatever reason you can just turn them off, but you, you really should work with them on. This graphic here shows us that we're set for two rolls of film now and if you look we're, we're currently on 13 revolutions uh, as you saw we just changed that uh, a few seconds ago but if you press the button there select one you're then now on one spool of film and if you look it's automatically jumped up to 26 revolutions so you're getting the same coverage six layers Our density valve is positioned just above the valve block, as you can see there, see the handle. Um, for wet crops, screw the valve all the way in and then back out one and a half to two turns. And for dry crop, screw the valve all the way back out and then back in one and a half to two turns. There's a gauge on the front of the baler where you can actually see the setting that you've achieved by, by adjusting the valve there. For wet crops, you'll be up to 150. And when you've adjusted your valve for dry crops, you'll be up to 100 on the gauge. First off, lock the box, then you have an icon here. Press that icon, then that takes you straight into the, into the bale counts. Uh, we can store 40 fields worth of information. We can name the fields. So if you give it a name, press the tick button, it appears on there. And if you want to clear the bale count, if you press that, then that brings up the 40 fields that you've got. If you hit the clear button, then the tick, as you see there, it clears the bail count. From the work screen, we are set on the pickup reel here. It's operated by your, by your double acting spool here. If you press that, you will then operate your drop floor. And as your drop floor goes down, the graphic there will show you that your drop floor is down. Then if you press that and again operate your, the same spool, uh, that will take your blades in and out. When your blades are in, the graphic shows the blades in and there's no red cross. The blades are actually out at the moment because they're down and there's a red cross through them. You would be in auto there or you can actually operate in manual mode where if you want to finish your field, uh, that's when you maybe select manual mode and then if you've not got a full bale you can still press the press the net start button there. What you can do you can actually turn the pre-chamber off 
yeah uh, and as you see you get across of it and then you are then driving it like a like a conventional baler it will come up and tell you to stop on the screen and then if you've got your net set on manual that is when you would press the button to start the cycle bail tip it's currently set on manual at the moment so during the wrapping cycle that button would go red and then start flashing and then it's up to you to press the press the button to actually operate the uh, wrapper you have to drop the bale in a safe place but if you if you're in a flat field if you just select auto there as soon as the wrapping process is finished the wrapper frame will lift up and drop the bale off from the work screen if we lock the work screen we then have these two graphics here if we press the up key and then this screen appears because it's a remote operation this gives us time to have a look around to make sure that there's no one uh, in the uh, area of the wrapper press the tick and then you'll see the wrapper lift up into the uh, road transport position press the down button and again the same screen uh, appears Press the tick and you'll see in the camera there, you'll see the wrapper going down, ready to accept the first bail. My way of farming.